Hey guys, welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. I really appreciate all the comments and feedback from previous episodes as I am able to adapt and evolve the show. What I thought I would get into is I would get into a little bit of nutrition. I wanna talk about nutrition because it's important. It's about the things we eat. It's about the molecules that we consider healthy. We're gonna get into nutrition. We're gonna get into what those molecules are starting right now. All right, so right now you're probably eating something, you're chewing on a granola bar, you're eating some pizza, and what your body is actually doing, when you have that pizza in your hand, you can kind of feel your mouth starting to water. Your mouth is starting to water because it's getting ready to break down that pizza or that steak into the basic molecules that it consists of. Let's think about this for a second. You're chewing and those molecules are getting broke down. When you start chewing, the molecules that get broken down in your mouth are carbohydrates. Carbohydrates start to get broken down in your mouth by enzymes called amylase. Then that food gets propelled into your esophagus. Your esophagus is a long strand of muscle that propels food from the mouth into itself and then into the stomach. All of the stomach acid starts to break down proteins into its basic molecule called amino acids. It starts to break down carbohydrates, the disaccharides, into monosaccharide like glucose. Monosaccharide stands for one sugar. Di stands for two sugars. Poly stands for more than two sugars. That food is then broken down in the stomach and then it moves forward into the small intestine. The small intestine is where most of the food is absorbed. All of these molecules are absorbed in the small intestine. The amino acids, which proteins are broken down into. Glucose, which the polysaccharides and disaccharides are broken down into. And the fat molecules that we eat as well. So nutrients are molecules that are responsible for being able to perform the bodily functions that we need to accomplish on a daily basis. You guys have all heard the term macronutrients and you've all heard the term micronutrients. So let's think about this for a minute. Macronutrients are fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, like I had mentioned before, are sugars like glucose and sucrose, which is table sugar, and they're also fiber. Fiber is technically a carbohydrate. Now, when you think about fiber, fiber has two kind of definitions. There's soluble fiber, meaning it's partially fermented, which is a process that bacteria in your gut perform to help break down the fiber. And then there's insoluble fiber. So as that carbohydrate goes through your intestine, it pushes things along. That fiber will absorb 10 to 15 times its own body weight in water to allow you to create that bowel movement. The sugar, the glucose is absorbed into your bloodstream because your brain constantly needs that glucose to keep the cells alive and to give the cells its own energy. Fats, fats are molecules as well that provide us with energy and they're stored in adipose tissue. We're gonna get into that on a future episode. The next molecule are proteins. When you eat a steak, you get a lot of protein. Certain legumes might have some protein. Now, when you eat that protein, that protein gets broken down into amino acids. Amino acids are little molecules that contain what's called a carboxyl group, which is a, a carbon-based molecule, and an amine group, which is a nitrogen-based molecule. Amino acids are essential. There are essential amino acids that we need to absorb on a daily basis. Some of these amino acids are actually used in the brain as neurotransmitters. That is, they communicate with other brain cells to tell us to perform a certain function. Micronutrients. Micronutrients are very interesting. These are the molecules that you might consider healthy. They're vitamins and little metals that we need to help support our body, like zinc or selenium or molecules such as that. There are several different vitamins. There's actually nine vitamins. There's vitamin A, vitamin B, of which there are eight, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. 
Now we're gonna get into each vitamin, and in fact, we're gonna get into the B vitamins first, and we're gonna talk about that history on the next episode. I appreciate you guys being here today. I appreciate you listening to Medicine Deconstructed. I hope you learned something, and remember what I always say, be better today than you were yesterday. Thanks for joining. Please leave comments and feedback in the comment section so that I can adapt and be better tomorrow. Thanks again for joining. I'm Dr. Jay Rutland.